Hey guys, this is part two of uh, the control panel of a 7,000 watt Generac generator. Uh, so another, uh, something I forgot to mention in the first video, and this is very important, especially if you're rebuilding or uh, diagnosing any of these problems. Uh, right here is your auto idle uh, switch right here. It's, a, it's either an on or an off. As you can tell, this is the white wire that powers the idle uh, control, idle control circuit here, and this runs over to um, the, the switch here, in which this uh, brown wire runs all the way to the 20 amp circuit breaker and it's jumpered on the line side of the uh, of the 20 amp here which this one is jumpered over to here and then you have your uh, then you have your load side coming in here uh, so this one here's your here's your main winding coming in and here's the load side and then it's jumpered the load side is then jumpered to the 20 amp of uh, line side and then this blue one will go over to the bottom uh, duplex outlet. Uh, another, I've seen this happen a couple times, and this is something that you have to be very careful of. Uh, the idle solenoid circuit is only meant to take 120 volts. I've seen uh, problems where this particular wire, if it's not connected to this uh, first winding here, I've seen it actually connect to this winding. So what winds up happening is uh, the, the idle the, the, the system control board is already getting 120 volts from this 30 amp circuit breaker and this is again jumper to this one if I, I've seen this uh, what could kill your uh, kill your entire control panel is that if this brown wire is connected to this particular circuit breaker which means that that idle solenoid is going to see 240 volts instead of 120 you don't want to do that so just a quick tip these two are again jumper together and these two are jumper together so one winding and here's the second winding that gives you 240. Just something I would uh, keep in mind there. The, the primary winding, the first winding, are, is the 120 volt side of what should be powering the system control board. 120 volts AC to run the uh, voltage regulation circuit and uh, the 120 volts on that same winding powering the idle control solenoid. Uh, the 120, uh, these two wires again, are, as I mentioned before, are for the uh, idle idle control power. This is your hot running for your voltage regulation circuit. Now it completes the circuit down in the end bell. The neutral of the 120 for the voltage regulator is actually inside the end bell. It's on DPE, the blue wire, uh, number two. That has a reference to neutral. If you were to go and find a continuity test ohm ohmmeter between DPE number two and the neutral, you'll see that it's a short circuit directly and because they're bonded together that's how it should be and uh, that's something that you need to keep an eye on there's a it's polarity sensitive if you're looking at the generator this way the blue wire and I I'm sorry I have to hold this thing up here I don't want the wires to fall out there's two spade connectors this spade connector closest to you should be the blue number two the number six is the red wire which is uh, closest to the uh, silicon controlled rectifier on the regulator that's how the polarity should be. If you flip those two around, the voltage regulation circuit will not work. It will not have a complete circuit and it will just out output the entire amperage to the rotor and you can't really use that if you don't have a voltage regulation to plug in any loads. So that was the f one thing I forgot to mention in my first video. Hope this helped people. Uh, please feel free to ask any questions and uh, respond to me on the stack. Thanks so much guys.